Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer is expected to extend the state's stay-at-home order today. At the same time, state Republicans are working to cut her power and create an oversight committee that will look into her handling of the COVID shutdown. The health department recorded 1,300 new cases of disease Thursday, bringing the total so far to more than 35,000. Tragically, the number of deaths to date is close to topping 3,000. Governor Whitmer announced a pay increase for some direct care workers on the front line of the crisis. They will get a temporary pay raise of $2 an hour. It applies to those who provide Medicaid, in-home behavioral health and long-term care services to Michigan's most vulnerable residents. The raise is in effect from April to June. Health care workers on the front line in Commerce Township received a big show of support Thursday evening. This was the scene outside the Huron Valley Sinai Hospital in Commerce Township. Fire, EMS and police teamed up for a solidarity lap around the hospital with lights and sirens blaring as a tribute to everyone who's working so hard to save lives. Real Estate One hosted a virtual town hall to talk shocking housing market statistics in Michigan. It's been hammered by the crisis just like the rest of the economy. But experts say it was strong leading up to the pandemic and could recover fairly quickly when we get to the other side. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Looks like we'll get a peak of sunshine on Friday. Not too much, but enough to push us back into the 50s. 55 for the high, still 50s over the weekend, but Saturday, early Sunday, late could be dry. Otherwise, look for some showers starting Saturday afternoon.